Hi there techies and welcome to my channel. In today's video, we will be covering what PNP PowerShell is. So without much further ado, let's get started. So the PNP PowerShell module is a cross-platform and a .NET framework based PowerShell that can run on any operating system that supports .NET Core, like the Windows, Linux, Mac OS, etc. The PNP PowerShell is actually a community initiative, community driven and is available on GitHub. It provides essentially 650 plus commandlets. You can use them to work with Microsoft 365 environment. It can be connected to a services like SharePoint Online, Microsoft Teams, Microsoft Planner, Microsoft Power Automate and other services of M365. Many of the tasks in these M365 services requires many manual steps or repetitive steps which we can automate using PNP PowerShell. PowerShell eventually is an automation scripting language and PNP PowerShell is on top of that hence it provides this full automation capabilities. Essentially this helps you to perform the bulk actions and for that it really helps reducing a lot of time. Let's take a look at some of the examples that you can achieve using PNP PowerShell. It can really do vast number of things, but really just to give a quick idea, you can create really multiple site collections in one go. So if you had to create 100 sites manually, it's really going to take a long time by providing all the input. You can do it very, very quickly with PNP PowerShell. Creating multiple Microsoft Teams in one go, similar to that. If you want to create 100 Microsoft Teams sites with different parameters, it'll take time. With PNP PowerShell, you can achieve that really fast and quick. Adding items to the SharePoint list in bulk with some conditional logic, you can do that quickly. Uploading the multiple documents to multiple document libraries of multiple sites in one go, including the metadata. So you can only imagine if you had to perform this using the UI, it's going to take a lot of time. With the logic baked into PNP PowerShell, you can easily achieve this very fast. In next video, we will take a look at how can we actually install the PNP PowerShell and can get started. But for now, I thank you for watching the video. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.